What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys today we are looking at the best and the fastest way to earn rep for your reputation level in the LS car meet. So the best way to rank up basically in the LS car meet. Now in order to earn rep there are actually a couple of things that you can do of course. It's not just one thing that you can do for rep. But it's a combination of all these things that actually makes it fast and easy to earn reputation. So the first thing that's good to do is just go to the LS car meet and get your daily bonus of rep. So every day, the first time you go to the car meet, you will get a bonus of rep. The second thing that's good to do is basically modifying your cars in the mod shop. So twice a day, you will get a bonus just for modifying one thing on your car. And you can do this every day. This is a day in real life, by the way. Another thing that you can also do if you don't want to go to the mod shop twice a day is just if you have a car that you want to modify, always take it to the mod shop in the LS car meet. Doesn't matter if it's from the update or not, just any car that you want to upgrade. Another thing, of course, also if you buy the clothing in the LS car meet, you also get rep. So if you want to buy new clothing, if you're looking for some cool clothing, definitely go ahead and check out the clothing in the LS car meet. Obviously though, don't get every piece of clothing because then you will just spend a lot of money. You will get the rep though, but then you just have a lot of money that you spent and also a lot of clothing that you don't use. Then the next way, and this is the way that I use most of the time, this is the most effective way, is basically doing the street series races and also the pursuit races that were added with this DLC. So these races, every time you finish them, you get rep. Also, depending on how much people you have in your lobby and the position that you finish in, you will get more rep. So just like with a normal race, if you finish first in a full lobby, you get more money, more RP, more rep than if you just finish, for example, last in a lobby with like three people. Now, guys, so the best way, like I said, is the racing. But if you want to earn the rep fast, it's actually a combination of all the things that I just said. So modifying a car in the LS car meet, if you have something to modify, buying the clothes over there and then also getting your daily bonus. Combine this with doing races and then you will rank up very fast. So after a race, by the way, you can also see that you gate the rep bottom right. It's kind of hard to see, but it's also there. So this is just a way on confirming that you actually gained some rep. Another reason why the races is very effective is just because you can keep on doing it. So every race that you finish, you will earn some rep. With the daily bonus, for example, it's only once a day. With the modifying the cars, twice a day. So the races, you can just keep on doing. Also, for example, with the races, you don't need any friends. You can just join a random lobby, the matchmaking will fix it, and then you can just play it. Now, obviously, there are also other ways on earning rep. For example, just going to the test track, driving around, this will also earn you some rep. But this isn't as frequent, and also this isn't as much as the races. In the test track, you can also launch a time trial if you want to see how fast you can do a lap. This will also earn you some rep. But again, this isn't as frequent. So every time you do a lap with a time trial, you won't get rep. On the other side with a race, like I said, every time you do a race, you do get rep. So that's also a reason why the racing is better. In the test track, you can also do head to head and also scramble. These are basically kind of challenges and races that you do in the test track. Every time you finish these, you actually do get rep. But the thing is, you always need someone that accepts the invite. So a friend that needs to accept the invite in the test track. Or if you don't have a friend, you need some random person in the test track that wants to play with you. On the other hand, with races, like I said, you can just join a lobby with people that already want to play. And sometimes you have it, for example, you're in a lobby, but no one is in the test track. Even if it's a full lobby, it might be that you just get an empty test track. So that's the reason why the races will be easier and faster. Of course, if you do have friends and you can play head to head and scramble a lot, this will also earn you some good rep. And with this, you will also rank up pretty fast. But the last thing that you can do also to earn some rep is basically test out the test rides. So every time you test out the test ride, the first time you also earn some extra rep. So every week you will have three new test rides. Just test them all out once. And then you basically get a bonus the first time that you drive them. Again, this is something that you can only get once every week. So it's not something that you can grind, for example. So guys, that was basically it. So I would say focus mainly on the racing, but also get your daily bonus. If you have a car that you want to customize, definitely do it in the LS car meet because it's the same prices as in LS customs. But over here, you just get some extra rep. Then also, for example, buying the clothes. If you want some cool clothes from the new DLC, also buy them. Also, for example, if you are wearing the new clothes from this DLC, 
then you also get a bigger bonus just for being in the car meet. So if you're just hanging around in the car meet, you also get some rep. It's not a lot, but if you are wearing the clothes from the DLC, it's actually double the rep that you're getting. So this is also something that you can do, for example. So guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord in the description, and peace out, you guys.